everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at these. They are Arctic P12 PWM PST 120mm fans and they are pressure optimised. Okay then everyone, we've got the Arctic fans here. Um, as you can see, they are the P12 PWM PST uh, fans. They are pressure optimised. 120 millimeter fans with PWM PST. We've got the black on black, and then we've got the white slash transparent, where the fins are the transparent, but they do have a slight white tint to them. Um, but as you can see, the um, boxings look pretty good to be honest with you. There's not a huge amount to say about the boxes other than it says 10 year warranty on it, um, which for any product, 10 year is absolutely uh, brilliant. You've also got the QR code um, because the manuals they generally have them online these days uh, Arctic do to save the environment and all you know, bits and bobs like that so less uh, obviously card or paper inside them um, and obviously it says the model number and the colour there uh, on the back it shows you how the pressure optimization works which is if you haven't looked at one of our previous videos or unsure basically let's just say you've got your fan here it sucks your air through that way and then it basically funnels the air so basically all the air gets basically pinpointed to one area and gets pushed out rather than in a standard fan um, the air would come through get to the fan and then it'll blow out all over the place where these basically pinpoint sort of a vortex effect or funnel effect um, where all the air goes through and gets pushed into a certain area which is good if you want to make sure your airflow is going to a specific item rather than putting a fan in and finding that it's actually uh, flowing all over the place um, so these are generally good on things like water coolers heat sinks and even using it as a back fan for uh, um, making sure that the airflow gets pushed out of the case um, uh, you a uh, good way of doing it is putting the high airflow fans in the front and then having these on the back so it sucks the air out and gives it a chance for all the air around the case to move out around and then this will push the air out of the back um, but anyway they do come with the PMW PST connector on there uh, as you can see um, that basically allows you to plug in um, multiple different um, uh, fans so you basically sort of daisy chain them together so one will go on your main board and then you plug another one into that one so if you're short of connectors on the board you can add multiple in tells you about the fan and the bearing and everything in there it's got uh, even it's got teflon in that one so it gives you a rough idea and it is a fluid dynamic bearing uh, and then it shows you a picture of the fan and the actual fan has got five blades which is uh, pretty good considering most, some fans can have up to uh, 10, 11 blades which um, it would be interesting to see if this can actually shift um, the amount of air uh, the competitors can with it having the least amount of blades or let's should put it this way it's able to cool down better than the competitors because not always shifting a lot of air means that's going to make things cooler because they're chucking the air all over the place where well, this is going directly to a pinpoint position. Um, the box, if you're wanting to sell these in a store or retail, um, you can stand them up anywhere. They do have a fold up hanger on there so you can hang them on your shelves like so forth. One thing I do find though is when you do hang them on shelves, when they do hang on the front rather than the back of the boxes, the boxes can lean forward slightly, um, which can sometimes look a bit awkward on a shelf. Uh, the best usually leaning backwards where the connector's at the back and it pushes flat against the uh, slat wall in. Uh, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. There's no seal on the box, so I'm guessing this just flips open. There we go, rip the box while I'm at it. Okay. So inside we've got the fan if it wants to come out, there we go, nice and snug. Okay so you've got your four silver screws there which again if it's a white fan I'd say stick some white 
screws with it and I'm guessing the black one's the same, it'll have silver ones with it, we've seen this with uh, a few of the Arctic fans, will be nice to see colour coded um, screws or at least the ability to put some sort of cap over the screws um, to code it in with what the device is going to be coloured. Uh, but otherwise that is pretty much it, oh there is a manual in there well, I say a manual, it's the QR code, which I'm guessing is the same as the one what's on the front of the box, which will take you to the manual because they're saving the environment and all that sort of stuff. Um, but with a fan, in all honesty, how much of a manual do you need? Um, okay, so you've got the product there. You can see in the centre the Arctic logo. And then you can see these transparent, clear uh, the blades there and as I said there's only five, they're quite a sweeping blade so it does actually take up most of the uh, surface area on there so it'd be uh, interesting to see these ones go. Uh, on the back you've got your standard stuff basically voltage and all your different bits and bobs like that. Uh, cable length it's a good length there, so you shouldn't have any issues uh, plugging it in and routing it to where you need. And again, it's got that double connector on there, so one can go on your motherboard, and you've got room then to connect another fan to it. So if you're connecting multiple up, you can connect them all up through um, that connector. But otherwise, we'll test these out and see how well they do. Okay, so we did the testing. Most of the test results and information can be found on our website, which is www.techfortex.co.uk. Uh, links in the description. Uh, but the basics was we used a Thermaltake Level 20 MTA RGB case. We disabled the fans. The CPU was an i3-8100 quad core at 3.6 gigahertz, but we over-voltaged it to about 1.3 volts on the CPU. Um, it had two sticks of 4 gigabyte DDR4 RGB memory, a Xilinx P600W power supply, a power call AMD Radeon RX 574 gigabytes. The CPU cooler itself was a Skype Mugen Max 140 millimeter. Uh, even though these fans are 120, they do fit on there and we like to use the same one uh, to give us a rough estimate the differences between the sizes. Uh, the storage device was a Western Digital Black NVMe 250GB SSD. The motherboard was a Gigabyte Aorus B350M Gaming 3, which has got all the RGB and everything on there. Uh, and we're running Windows 10 Pro. Uh, but in basics, the testing was, well, I wouldn't say disappointing. It performed roughly the same as everything else. Every test we did, uh, basically, they all pretty much come back the same for all the fans. So, for example, idle temperatures, the Arctic P12 fan against an Antec and a Xilinx fan we did, um, basically they all averaged between 30 and 31 degrees Celsius, with the Arctic being running at 30. The average after a 100% stress test on the CPU was 52 degrees for the Arctic, uh, 52 degrees for the Antec and the Xilinx for 51 degrees again only one degree between them uh, and similar results again for the top temperature um, it was 59 degrees Celsius for the Arctic P12 as well as the Antec and the Xilinx performed 58 degrees Celsius but bear in mind the Arctic fan is um, a value fan or should I say I won't say it's a real value fan but it's a lot cheaper than their top A range uh, Bionics uh, X fans what we um, reviewed last week Obviously testing will differ depending on test setups and everything along that line so obviously um, take a look at a few other reviews out there and see what they're getting but generally we found they perform roughly the same but one thing we did notice it did seem a little bit quieter than the competition so for conclusion the p12 pwm pst is a good solid built fan with only five blades i'm confident that it will run quieter than those with seven or more blades of course this will depend on the speed uh, the fan is perfect for no frills people I know you can't believe it, but there are some people out there who have not embraced RGB and ARGB, and that's okay. However, if you wanted the fan to have a little bit of extra uh, pizzazz, you could always use the Acasa Digital 120mm frame with RGB LED lighting to get you the bling. Um, I was not disappointed in it, uh, and I don't think you'll be either. 
So our positive points are it's a very sturdily built, it's got five blades instead of potentially up to eleven like some fans. Um, blades are durable uh, but have a bit of a flex which is always good. Cable length is generous, you can daisy chain things easily, the packaging looks really nice. Uh, negatives, you've got those silver screws and I always say you should have the same colour screws as you have the device you're doing or at least the device you're going to be plugging it into or screwing it into. In most cases these days cases are black and white with very very few which are silver. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to press the subscribe button over here. That way you'll get all the latest news and all the reviews we do on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.